Hello everyone. I was driving in Biloxi today and I saw man on the street with the big cross. Uh, and I was like struck. Why, why, what is he doing here with the big cross on the sidewalk? So we stopped by and uh, I'm Father Mateusz. My name is Adam. Adam uh, Shetler. Adam Shelter. Hello, Adam. Hello, how are you doing? Good. Good, good. How are you doing? I am doing well, doing well, doing very fine. Doing so good. tell me, uh, what are you doing uh, walking with the cross? Um, I started off from Lake City, Florida, and uh, I'm walking all the way to California for now. I'm not sure if that's going to be my final destination. But uh, I'm doing it for Jesus Christ, you know, if you, and I just want to show what others, I just want to show others what he's done for us, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I just want to show that love for others. His great love, tremendous yes. love. Yes. If I can ask, what inspired you to do this? Well, it, it's been on my heart since 2005, and, and then uh, that's when I first asked for forgiveness of my sins. And, uh, and I believe on Jesus Christ, you know, because He is our, our our Savior. I will save you. Yes. Yeah. And uh, but I, I decided not to do it then. And once I made that that decision not to do it, I started living for myself at that exact moment. And uh, and then I started chasing after a woman this year. On you know, and I bought her a rose. And the same day I bought her a rose, I went to the library to check out a book, which was. I kissed Dating Goodbye by Joshua Harris, who is a pastor in Life Covenant Church out in Maryland, I think it is. I'm Maryland. Not sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. But, uh, there's, and, I, I, and I checked some movies out too, and I was going to watch some movies and read a book at the same time, but the, but God wouldn't let the DVD player to work, so mm. I started reading the book, and, and, I went, and as I came across the Bible verses, I felt so ashamed that I wasn't living the life I was supposed to be living for Jesus Christ, I would hide my face and ask for forgiveness. And that went on for the next 10 to 11 hours or so, and I would read and pray, read and pray. And then uh, he just brought it back on top. I've been thinking about it ever since, but it was just on top of everything else, you know. And, and so I decided to do it this time, because I didn't want to be back in the same spot he found mm -hmm. me in. It's amazing. Yes, it is. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful for it. I'm very thankful for it that he's given me a second chance to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said, uh, it's he certainly used it in a bunch of ways. W one way is he, I grew closer to, to God through this, you know, and by reading my Bible and praying, you know, those, those. Those two things are key to mm -hmm. Christian life, you know. Yes. You gotta read them. I mean, read your read, read God's word and prayer. Exactly. And uh, well, in other ways, he's used it to inspire his children to do more for him, and to plant seeds and lost people. Mm -hmm. And he's also used it to spark conversations between kids and their parents. And I'm sure there's so many other ways I can't think of right now, you know, because. It's just God, you know, yes. you, you'd be obedient, he, he, he can use it in big ways. His ways are much bigger than ours. Yeah, yes, yes. And, and I'm very thankful for that. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, you said something very important that uh, when you first time didn't follow the desire, yeah. you turned towards your egoistic way of life. Yeah. And it's like great warning for us that God give us so many inspirations, mm -hmm. give us dreams and these holy desires. Yeah. And whenever we turn away from them, we, we just don't go to something else. We go to do something what is uh, more egoistic and less good yeah. and just bring us away from God. Yep. So it's really uh, it's good to see that if I don't follow my de God's desire, which gives me inspirations, mm -hmm. I'm just turning away from Him and make my life very, more you, difficult you know and obedience is greater than sacrifice you know yes. and, and and being obedient to this you know and reading his word and drawing closer to him i can see i i can i it, i can feel his presence you know and i can just see his hand upon me as i look back over my life too mm. you know and i can just see how he's been guiding me even though i did not know it
you know. Even, even though I was when I was living for myself, he was still so good to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And 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 that's why I'm thankful for God for being long suffering with us. Well, thank you for the sharing, Adam. Yes, sir. We will keep you in our prayers. I appreciate and that. And pray for us. Uh -huh. And God bless you. God bless you, too. Thank you. Yeah, I'm used to it. This is difficult, man. <laughs> the cross is so big. It's like real cross. Yeah. Uh, this is amazing. Yes, it is. I'm used to it. I've been carrying it a long way. It's, it's even harder to push backwards. Right? So don't, don't, it's even harder to push backwards.